everybody, Dennis with Restoration Sensei here. We are on infection control from Egan's book, part two, or part B, one might say. And what we're going to talk about, if you looked at part A, we talked about infection control, specifically with standard precautions. And I want to now review standard precautions as it relates to personal protective equipment like gloves, gowns, masks, eye masks, face tents, those kinds of things. And what does he can say about that that we need to know for the NBRC exam and of course on in, in real life. So one thing then that you might remember from part A is that standard precautions are for everybody, so you're going to use it on every patient. And really the only basic requirement for standard precautions is that you hand wash before before and after each patient. When it comes to the use of protective equipment, according to Egan, that just depends on the situation. So when you use gloves, well, you use gloves if you're going to be touching any body fluids, if you anticipate doing that. And then, of course, if you're also touching any mucosal linings, that's when you're uh, going to definitely use gloves. You're going to use a gown. Gowns are really all about splashing. And this is true also for face protection, such as a face shield or eye protection. You're going to use that if you think that there's potential for those bodily fluids to splash against you. And so for those reasons, you may consider using a gown, a face shield, eye protection, and then of course gloves if you're going to be touching anything. This is how Egan defines standard precautions. It's a good way to look at it. What's really uncommon is people think standard precautions are some thick set of precautions for everybody, but that's not entirely true. There there is a fixed part, it's hand washing before and after each patient, but the rest of it is optional depending upon the situation you think you're going to get into and it requires your judgment. So that's what you need to know about standard precautions from Egan's Fundamental of Restoration Care for the NBRC exam and for real life.